A Chattanooga police officer is being honored in our nation's capital tonight. Good evening, I'm Lindsay Jackson. And I'm Dave Staley. Officer Lauren Johnston is being recognized tonight for his bravery, and he was named one of the country's top cops. You'll remember last April, Sergeant Tim Chapin was killed in a gunfight during an armed robbery. Officer Johnston was wounded that day, but that has not stopped him from going back to work, keeping our city a whole lot safer. News Channel 9's Kevin Sims made the trek to Washington, D.C. for the award ceremony. He joins us now live from the event where Johnston was just honored. Is that right, Kevin? That's right, Lindsay. And in fact, those ceremonies just wrapping up, you can see the flood of folks coming out of the Grand Ballroom here at the historic Mayflower Hotel. Let me tell you, not a dry eye in the house tonight as those 10 top cop award winners were announced. And Officer Lauren Johnson right there from the Chattanooga Police Department was the first to be pulled up on stage and given the award. And that really set the tone because they introduced him talking about his story last April, April 2nd, 2011 when he and his partner responded to the Brainerd Road uh, store there for an armed robbery call, and things went so different than what they perhaps expected. And the death of Johnson's good close friend, here's what he said in his emotional tribute to Sergeant Chapin when he got up on stage. My top cop. There you are. My top cop is Sergeant James Timothy Chapin. And you could hear there Officer Johnson obviously having to choke back tears, take a breath to get his composure. And it's almost like he came here to Washington, D.C. with a single focus, not to accept the award on his behalf, but instead to honor his good friend, the late Sergeant Tim Chapin. Again, things wrapping up here at the Mayflower Hotel. Tomorrow night, Sergeant Chapin's name will be added to the National Fallen Officers Memorial, and we'll be here for that as well. For now, streaming live from the Mayflower Hotel in Washington, D.C., I'm Kevin Sims, News Channel 9. Kevin, thank you very thank much you. for that report. Well, the day began early for Officer Johnston with a big honor. He and his wife and some of the other top cops were guests of Pre President Barack Obama's at the White House. After a private meeting, the president then held a news conference in the Rose Garden. That's where he thanked the officers for their service and sacrifice. I guarantee you that when the bullets were flying, when lives were on the line, these men and women weren't thinking about bravery. They weren't thinking of themselves. Instead, they were looking out for their fellow officers and for the civilians that they swore to protect. And we've learned Officer Johnston will also be recognized Monday on the Senate floor by Senator Bob Corker.